So tell me what you know about metallic bonding. A metallic bond is a chemical bond resulting from the attraction between positive metal ions and the surrounding mobile electrons. This cloud of mobile electrons is sometimes called a sea of electrons. And what are the properties of metals? Metals are good thermal and electrical conductors. Very good. So, can you tell me why metals are good thermal and electrical conductors? Because metals have numerous mobile electrons available to carry electric charges. That's right. As for thermal conductivity, um, teacher, can you explain again? Sure. When heat is applied to one part of metal, the kinetic energy of the electrons increase. The thermal energy spreads throughout the metals when the electrons pass the kinetic energy to their adjacent electrons. You can see this here. Ah, I see. Can you explain other properties of metals? Sure. Fedi, have you ever seen a rock salt crystal? Yes, it is a white crystal. And what happens if we strike it hard with a hammer? I think it will break into many smaller fragments. It looks quite brittle. That's right. Now, what will happen if I strike a piece of zinc sheet with a hammer? Will it break apart or will it become fragmented? Hmm, I think it will bend, but it will not break. Yes, it's malleable. Why do you think it is malleable? I am not sure. Then let me explain, and you ask questions if you are unsure. Okay. When you strike a metal object with a hammer, layers of metal ions may slide past each other and move out of place while remain bonded as a whole. That's why metals deform easily, but do not fracture or tear apart. Oh, so that's why metals don't break apart when you hammer them. That's right. Let's compare it to the rock salt. When you hammer an ionic compound, the ionic bond can be broken and the crystal fractures instead of deforming. Metals, on the other hand, is made of layers of metal ions that slide past each other easily when hammered, and thus they remain bonded as a whole. This is known as the malleability of metals. Oh yeah, I remember. We say that metals are malleable, meaning that they can be hammered or pressed into any shape you want without fracturing. Very good. Metals are also ductile, meaning that they can be drawn into thin wire without tearing apart. Ah, okay. Well, teacher, since metals are malleable and ductile, they should have many uses and applications, right? Of course. For example, a metal stamp makes use of the malleability of metals to mold them into shape. And here is how metal stamping works in real life. Ah, got it. Good. In that case, shall we do a simple question to test your understanding? We shall. 